Hey guys, it's Rachel Young here. I just wanted to tell you, um, I know the other day I made a vlog about uh, 2013 planning and how important it is. And I have just finished my official folder, my official business binder. Um, and I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek at it so that you could maybe uh, get some ideas for your own folder. Believe it or not, I have actually was ghostwriting for like uh, two years and never had a business folder. I did everything on my computer. I had spreadsheets and stuff there, but I never did a physical binder until I took a course with Melissa Ingold last year, and um, she really stressed the importance of having a business manual. And I thought, well, if I can have a business manual, I should also have a business binder. So these are the tabs that I have. First, I have a to-do tab in the very front. This is going to be my daily to-do stuff, uh, social marketing, vlogging, emailing, affiliates, um, all that good stuff. Uh, next, I have a vlog tab. This is going to be where I keep my vlog challenges, um, vlog updates, ideas, any plugins that I want to get uh, specifically for my blog, uh, things like that. Next up is my PLR tab. Uh, this is going to have my schedule for my uh, PLR stuff, PLR ideas, all that good stuff. Once I figure this all this out, then um, what I'll probably do is get my weekly PLR stuff that I need to create. And once I have that on a list, I'll put that over in my to-do pocket so that I can just grab it at the beginning of the day and work on it. I'm also going to grab anything that I need to do this week for many of these other tabs and put those in my to-do pocket as well so that I can just grab them and I have them right there. And of course when I'm done I'll put them, uh, mark them as completed and put them wherever they need to go. Um, next up I'm going to have my affiliates tab. Uh, affiliates, as we talked about, you need to really focus on grabbing affiliates, talking to affiliates, uh, making your affiliates feel special and all that good stuff. So that's going to be all in my affiliates tab. I'm also at some point going to have, um, <clears throat> today or tomorrow, I'm going to be setting up little sub tabs to go in between all of these big topics. Um, I've already bought them, I just have to get them in. As you can see, I've made little pieces of paper and I've put them behind each topic so that I have these notes for each sub tab so that I know what I need to do. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. Um, next up is my outsourcing tab. This is super, super important uh, because, like we said, you've only got 24 hours in a day. How are you going to spend it? You know, you, you can spend it on Twitter and Facebook and all that good stuff, uh, slaving over blogs, or you can outsource some things so that you can have more free time, still get your business stuff done, and still make the impression that you need to grow your business. Um, next up is email marketing. Uh, everything I need to do for my email is going to go in this tab, um, as well as some of my uh, email training stuff that I got from my Melissa Ingold course. Uh, next up is uh, uh, Rodan and Fields. This is something that I'm looking into doing later this year. I'm not even going to do it yet, but... I wanted to put the tab there because I didn't want to forget about it. Uh, next is my business manual. <clears throat> this is going to be where I put all of my rough notes for the business manual that I need to create. And then I'm going to type them up as I do them and have an, uh, a business manual on my computer as well. Uh, next up is membership sites. And finally, info products. Again, I haven't done either of these two things, but I'm putting them in here because... I need to do them, and I don't want to forget about them. And if I have to look at my binder every day and look at those tabs every day, I'm not going to forget. Um, <clears throat> lastly, I ha wanted to tell you I have these calendars here. I would really, really strongly recommend that you guys do something like this every single month. Um, I have created these blank calendars. Um, at the top, I've listed everything that I need calendars for. I have a training calendar, uh, <clears throat> a calendar strictly for my PLR writing, uh, blogging, uh, and marketing. I have an affiliate calendar, uh, and I actually created a social calendar as well as a promotional calendar. Um, I don't know where those are right now, but 
I have them all. Um, and what I'll do at the beginning of every month is I'll just fill in this calendar uh, for each specific thing that I need to do. And that way I kind of stay on task for everything. I could put them all on the same calendar, but I think that for me at least, I would get really overwhelmed doing it that way. Um, also, I should probably make an outsourcing calendar as well uh, so that I have kind of an outsourcing schedule and I know like when things are due and all that stuff at a, at a glance as opposed to uh, keeping notes and having to dig through notes to figure out who owes me what and when I need to have them do and all that good stuff. So anyway, um, that's all for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and uh, be sure to let me know uh, what your business folder looks like and maybe we can brainstorm. If you have some tabs that I should have, let me know and if any of these tabs help you, let me know that too. I'd really love to hear it. All right, talk to you later. Bye.